So this is the little Eris, the new Eris printer, right after the unboxing. You can see the size difference between the, uh, the Rostock and my Mod T. And here's the Eris, and here's the extra parts that are going to go with it. And we can see that they've already made a test print. So things look like they're uh, actually going to work. Along with the printer is power supply, an AC cable, a USB cable, a little spatula to remove the print, and it looks like a half kilo of blue PLA. The power supply plugs into a port on the back of the machine and the Bowden tube will go into the Easy Struder. Now we'll turn it around and mount the filament. This is blue PLA. I've already snipped off the end here and this gets put into the tube. It's gonna go all the way around. Now that I've turned it around, you can see that it comes out here. It's going to go into the Easy Struder. If I turn this, you should be able to see it come out into the Bowden tube. Now because, because it was reported on the uh, CMCNC forum, I knew to look for this. The connector here is not seated properly. I don't know if I can show you that. So I just remove the plug and just put it back in and make sure it seats all the way down. There we go. Time to plug in the USB cable. And now let's try to power it on for the first time. There are a couple of LED lights on the top and on the bottom. We have one connector for all the wiring and there's a fan shroud that not only cools the hot end, but also has a duct that can uh, cool the layers this swings out of the way so that the hot end cooling can come straight up instead of going down and be layer cooling. And that might work for certain types of material, particularly if there's ever a heated bed in the future and we don't want it to cool ABS. The bed is removed by swinging these out of the way. There's a little finger hole here. And the bed is glass with a build surface called on Ultralex on top. So here are the three printers, the new Eris on the right side, the highly customized Rostock Max V2 in the middle, and the New Matter Mod T on the left side. I'll build a platform for the uh, Eris uh, that spans the window on the right just to bring everything up about another eight inches or so so that the uh, build plate is at the same height as the other two build plates, so I don't have to bend over when I watch things print. I've manually configured the uh, Eris based on a video that CMCNC posted. So I've got matter control loaded, and we're gonna try the first calibration print.
that's it. I've imported the defaults, so now I'm going to try a load filament. And it's spinning and spinning and spinning and forcing everything down into the tube. It stopped just above the hot end and then started uh, moving in slowly. So this is a very nice procedure. And let's see what it does. It's still advancing the filament. Nothing's coming out yet. Here it comes. And I use forceps to remove it. So lesson learned. Before putting the uh, load filament procedure in place, just insert the uh, end of the filament just past the extruder. Don't bring it all the way up to the hot end. Okay, my first print is going to be a calibration box. I've already preheated the printer and we'll try print and see what it does. Estimated time, 31 minutes. And this is at uh, 215 degrees, I believe. And it is printing a calibration cube. A very typical thing to print is the first print. It's quieter than I thought it would be, which I'm very pleased. And it's an absolutely adorable little printer. Very lightweight, but made with some nice components. It's got an easy extruder on this side. There's uh, air coming out of these vents here. And you probably see the hot end printing. The access movements are very quiet, well it's not going very fast, and you might be able to see that the fan shroud actually has uh, three tubes that come down and act as layer cooling. This particular print is being done at the defaults, which is a 0.22 uh, height, and the next one I'll do will be a 3D Benchy, which will be a little more a little more of what I would normally print at a 0.2 layer height and it is likely that I will see about possibly disabling the LED that lights the part uh, because I put in my own lighting as you can see the left and to the right and that's making it just a little hotter than I'd like it to be. It's good for your eyes but not very good for the camera. But this thing is printing very nicely, quietly and all by itself. For a first print, this isn't bad at all. It was a little tricky getting it off the bed. The uh, build surface is quite uh, quite sticky, and uh, I wound up having to use a, uh, a razor blade scraper just to get under the corner, and then it popped right off. So this is supposed to be 20 millimeters, and I've got 20.07 here. 19.80 there, it's supposed to be 10 high, I got 9.91, so that's not too bad. There's a bit of a, a excess on the bottom, it's almost like a little brim, um, but uh, we'll see how future prints come out. And the next test is to do a Benchy, and I might just run it through Octopi. Now the Eris is printing a 3D Benchy. A little tugboat calibration print and I'm doing it using the Octoprint on a Raspberry Pi 2. So this is being done without the aid of a conventional computer, it's being run off of a Raspberry Pi. We'll check in with it later and the reason I'm doing this is because it makes it easy 
for me to uh, run a time lapse of the build. And we'll see how that comes out. You can see the camera is displaying on a computer over there. And it's doing okay. It's going to need some tweaking. But it's a small printer. It prints only with PLA. So it's not as flexible as the other printer. But it's very portable. I can take it with me to maker spaces and such. And it's a little delta. And uh, we'll see how this one works out. This is the second print from the new Eris printer. Uh, it's a 3D bench sheet printed in PLA. The bottom came out pretty well. Uh, there's some banding, a little, uh, uh, a lot of stringing, but that may be to be expected. We haven't tweaked any of the retraction settings, so there's lots of little hairy things in there. Uh, the pipe is not quite as uh, straight as it could be. You can see all the strings in the in the bow. Um, but uh, it's not bad. We'll clean it up and see what changes need to be made. This is the hot end for the new Eris printer and it's got uh, the hot end here and it's got a fan that's here that allows it to duct around to these three ports. For some reason or another the uh, filament jammed and uh, Right now I'm to a point where I need to get this out and I think it is being caught on the uh, Bowden tube coupler because it spins around. I had managed to extrude some filament after replacing the Bowden tube but I don't think the Bowden tube went down far enough so I created a, a plug at the end. So I'm going to try to take this off and hopefully I won't beat myself up too bad. There's the plug. Not a big surprise. Next time I'll make sure that the Bowden tube goes down all the way. While I have it apart, let's take a quick look at the circuit board and see the way this goes back together. When I unscrewed this, this unscrewed from the heat break. So I'll just screw it back on carefully. Just make sure the fan seats properly. It's a very nice design. I like this. Once this metal piece has been screwed back in, we put the uh, duct cap back on and cover up the top here. So that way when the fan blows to cool the hot end. It also takes its exhaust 
and channels it down to these three outlets. You can see the heating resistor and the thermistor. The LED that lights the hot end is in one of these uh, tubes here. You can probably see it right in there. I may try to uh, disable that one day or see if we can control it in some way. Well, unfortunately, this print failed. About, uh, this about three hours into the print, uh, we were out. And the, uh, the extruder is trying to extrude, but nothing's happening. I'm printing a TARDIS here, and it's printing very nicely, it's printing cleanly. And I wanted to show you just the earlier version that failed, and how miserably this failed. Uh, this one was done with a different slicer. Uh, this one was done with a matter slicer, but I think the most important thing was that it was done at a higher temperature, at uh, 220 instead of 215, and look at all of the stringing and uh, rather miserable surface texture and uh, compare this with all of its uh, strings and, and filament inside compare that to this print which is printing very nice and clean so 3d printing is uh, as much art as it is science The TARDIS is coming along. It's about seven hours into a print that should probably take another hour or so. Well, coming to the very tip, the very end of the print, and it's starting to look like a TARDIS. This is uh, about five inches tall, and the printer has a maximum build volume of, uh, I think, about six inches tall. So let's see if finish the print. When the print is done, it looks like pretty much the only cleanup will be the stringing in the window panes, and that's to be expected with uh, such fine verticals. This is my fourth print on the CME CNC Eris printer. Let's take the little TARDIS off of the printer. Let's take a look. I downloaded this from Thingiverse, and it's a pretty nice, pretty nice design. It's got lots of detail. Got 
particularly like the lettering. Okay, now we'll try to remove it from the build plate. First try will be with a little spatula that comes with the uh, with the printer. See if I can get underneath it. That doesn't seem to work very well. Uh, this build plate material seems to be quite stubborn. I could try to get underneath it with this uh, with this other one. That's a little bit thick. I could try just snapping it off. It doesn't seem to work. So I will try a razor blade scraper. This usually works pretty well. Why did I actually lock this in? Just get under the corners. off. Now you can see now I can see the bottom and very 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 little stringing except for the window area here and that will clean up easily. It's a pretty successful print. This was the fourth print on the new little Eris printer.